Many of you have been requesting more videos in our free software series, so we'll make this a regular thing on our channel. Coming up, I'll show you seven free software for your computer that are actually great. These are in various categories, with a few recommended by viewers in the comments in prior videos. Let's get started. First up is Audacity, which is a free open source digital audio editor that was launched in the year 2000. Since its release, it has been downloaded more than 100 million times. Audacity is one of the most popular free software you can get, so I won't spend a lot of time on it since most of you have used it and there are literally hundreds of tutorials online. To get started, you can go to File and then to Open to select your audio file, or you can just drag and drop from a folder on your computer. Audacity provides a ton of tools to edit your files, and there are a lot of built-in effects that you can choose from. If you're new to Audacity, if you select Help, there's a quick help guide and a full manual that you can use. Where you'll find the most help is on YouTube, with so many great tutorials that you should check out. You can get Audacity for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now I'll show you GreenShot, which is a free and open source screenshot program. To say that the screenshot functionality built into most operating systems is limited would be an understatement. GreenShot allows you to capture a full screen, an open window, or even capture a region of your screen, and once it takes a screenshot, gives you a ton of options. Let me demonstrate. Here are the keyboard hotkeys, which I use, that can also be changed. Holding down the control key and the print screen key at the same time allows you to capture the full screen. The alt key and print screen key allow you to capture a selected open window. And to capture just the region of the screen, all you need to hold down is the print screen key on your keyboard, which I will do right now. Now I'll click and drag an area for the screenshot, and then let go. Now I have several options, including saving. You can have it open directly into the screenshot editor or one of the several programs, including Microsoft Paint. You can also upload to Imager. I prefer to open in the screenshot image editor, so I'll do that right now. In this screen, along the top, you still have the options for saving, opening, and uploading. Along the left side, you have several options for marking up your screenshot, including drawing an arrow. You can add a text box. Type in whatever you want or change the size and all those options are here at the top. Add a speech bubble. type in whatever you want inside the speech bubble, and a highlighter for highlighting certain text. Greenshot is completely free for Windows and might be easier for some of you than ShareX, another screenshot tool I've recommended in the past. The last stable release for Greenshot was several years ago. It still works great on Windows 10 and 11, so as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They also have a version for Mac OS that costs $1.99, but quite honestly, it's not as good as the Windows version yet. This next one is for you programmers out there. Visual Studio Code is a free text editor from Microsoft designed specifically for editing source code of computer programs. This code editor has built-in support for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js. If you need support for additional languages, they make it easy to add them into Visual Studio Code. When you have the program open, select the Extensions tab on the left. You could either try to find your language here from this long list, or you can type it right here in the search bar. And then select Install, then just wait for it to finish. When it's done, it's gonna ask you to reload the page. So select Reload to activate. It's that easy. Now Ruby is installed. I currently have a small project for my college days opened up. What many of you will appreciate is the uncluttered user interface. And there's a preview pane here on the right, which makes it easy to skip around to different parts of your code. Visual Studio Code is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. If you're looking for an easy to use video editor, then Shotcut may be for you. It's free, open source, and it's been in development since 2004. It supports 4K resolutions and just about every video format. It also has several audio features, including crossfading. This is a video editor I used to use 
and I'll quickly show you how to use some of the features. It's missing some of the features of the paid video editors, but it is quick and easy to use. First, you'll want to create a video and audio timeline. So down here in the timeline, left click, select add video track, then select add audio track. Go over to this area and left click and drag it up so you can see more of the timeline. Select playlist, drag a video file in. Then from the media player section, drag it down to the timeline. Then to move in another video file, do the same step as before. Drag it to the playlist and then drag it down to the timeline. One cool feature is you can create a video crossfade just by grabbing the second video file and dragging it to the left. I'll show you what that looks like. And to add an audio file, we'll do the same steps as before. Find an audio file, drag it to the playlist, and then drag it down to the audio timeline. And to shorten up the audio file on the timeline, go to the end of it, where you see the double arrows, and then drag to the left and just snap it in. Even though this is an easy to use video editor, there is a slight learning curve. So if you need additional help, they do have a lot of video tutorials on their site and also on YouTube. Shotcut is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Up next is Defragler, which is my preferred defragging tool for computers with hard disk drives, and it's far superior to the Windows built-in defrag tool. I won't spend a lot of time on this one. Defragler takes the fragmented files on your computer and reassembles them to speed up your PC. It's simple enough to use. First, you select your drive. If you want, you can benchmark your drive by selecting Benchmark Drive. You could select Analyze to see if your drive does need to be defragged. And when you're ready to get started, just select Defrag. Depending on the size of your drive, it could take hours to complete the process. Defragler does have an option to optimize solid state drives, but I wouldn't bother using it since it has very little benefit for an SSD. Before moving on, on a side note, Defragler is developed by Pyroform Software, the same company that makes CCleaner. As mentioned in prior videos, I do not recommend using CCleaner any longer, as there are tools built into Windows that do a better job than third-party software. Next up is Stellarium, which is a free and open source planetarium. Since only a few of you would be interested in something like this, I'll keep this really short. Unlike its competitors, Stellarium uses less of your system resources when it's running, it's used at planetariums, and has cataloged more than 600,000 stars. This is not the easiest of software to use. They offer a user's guide, which is only 474 pages long, that can be downloaded from their site. If this is something you're interested in, it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Last but not least is Unchecky. Many times while installing software, these installers try to bundle in unwanted programs. It doesn't occur as much as it used to, but it's still annoying. Unchecky is great. It'll automatically uncheck those offers unrelated to the software you're installing, so you're not as likely to miss one of those checkboxes for unwanted software. Also, it'll warn you if you're about to allow unwanted programs to install. I'll demonstrate by installing this media player. So far, so good. Now I'm to a screen that wants to install additional software, something called Screen Snapshot Pro. Now I'll go down and select Accept. Now I get this warning from Unchecky that says by clicking this, you may install a program you didn't intend. So I'll decline. And got another one here for Good Game Big Farm. I'll go down and accept. And I get that same warning, so I'll decline that. Unchecky is a great little program that runs in the background that just might save you from installing unwanted programs. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. If any of it was useful for you, let us know in the comments if you use any free software that you think others would benefit from knowing about. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff.